Alright, what's up people? You can see we got to a rip roaring start. Yep, you up to, Gregster? Finishing these, these blocks. Nice one. Yep. And then stone. Yeah, so on. It's a bit of a better wall up and block. Back's been sore the past few days, obviously it's a lot of weight and a lot of bending over. Ideally it'd be about this high. A lot of people I've seen using like a stool. Anyway, this will do for the time being, don't have to bend over too far. So that'll be approximately finished like the paving. One step, two step, three step, paving. The hardest part of stone work is matching the top of your wall, because you're obviously limited by three dimensions usually. So we need quite a thin bit of sandstone, as you can see there's some big yoffa chunks. <laughs> so, we've got quite a small area. Just show me a little space there, Greg. So, yeah. you want to finish it off for a picture as well? So, again, it's not the, the cleanest bit of sandstone, but I'll do my best to split it. Anyway, so here we go. Put it on camera anyway. So yeah, ready to rock. Hundred percent the best tapes out there. So yeah, we're trying to um, keep it traditional on this project. As I've, as I've touched on, we've really been working on our stone masonry this year. Hey. Got some absolute big offers in here. Whew, look at them. So I think that's the biggest one so far. Builds up the area quite quickly. And you see we got the classic, we're gonna call it the Matpo style. Very minimal joins, more about the stone. But anyway, as always with Inter, the sun's disappearing pretty quick. Temperature's dropping pretty quick. So we're gonna get as much done as we can, get as much backfilled as we can. Ooh, Greg's got a nice bit of granite there. So yeah, you can bump that little one out and scooch him over if you need to, if it's too tall or whatever. Eh? Yeah. All about the details, people, all about the details. But anyway, so I just want to wrap it up here. 